Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. We are on episode number 24 of the Paradox mini campaign, and you may notice a slight change. We are now in <laughs> EU4. It's Say totally different. Yeah, it looks it's, crazy. It's brighter. It's a lot brighter. <laughs> it is Tim a lot brighter. Have you seen? Have you guys looked at the Timurids yet? Yeah. The they are. <laughs> the, they are like already larger than Russia. That yeah, is they're actually scary. Crazy. Um, so for those who are wondering, I who the fuck I was going to end up playing? In oh, this. we have so much to talk about. Yeah. yeah. So first and foremost, <laughs> I lost everything, as you are all well aware at this point. Um, so I'm going to be taking Galicia, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to be taking the Galicia. Galicia is probably the best bet for me to grab. I didn't want to leave the Spanish territories because I feel that that's where I started. That's where I should, should continue. But Galicia was the safest one to take out of all the ones that broke free of my reign. Um, and that's the one I grabbed. So that's where I'm starting. I think that's mm -hmm. a very good idea. And I have uh, forfeited my Portuguese holdings over to Mathis so that... Galicia looks pretty nice now, and uh, I've given some of the Duchy of Aquitaine over to Arumba, and we stopped because he uh, is close to the overextension limit. So it's still actually like a pretty big handicap for you to be starting at 80% overextension, but at least you yeah. have some provinces you didn't have to fight for. It's true. It'll take me probably five to ten years probably just to stabilize everything, but you, on the other hand, have stuff everywhere. You have the most disgusting-looking borders. <laughs> I'm not thrilled about a lot of this. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna spend some time selling off uh, a lot of these provinces, particularly like uh, like Agder, uh, and all my Danish holdings. Or maybe I'll try to actually fight for yeah. uh, Denmark, but uh, like the stuff in kind of southeastern France and northern Italy. And eventually, I will uh, give uh, Madrid and Toledo to Mathis as well, so he can form Hispania. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, one more thing we wanted to cover before we got started on this first video, guys, is um, just just a friendly reminder that Northern Lion, Mathis, and I are all friends. So while we do, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Fuck both of you. <laughs> <laughs> but just 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 as a reminder, like we uh, we wouldn't be playing together if we didn't enjoy each other's company. So um, while some of the hostility is fun and definitely, I think, an attractor for the series, just keep in mind that it is partially um, emphasized for fun. So very true. Yeah. I mean, I don't really hate Northern Lion. I do blame him for a lot of things, but <laughs> that doesn't mean that uh, anything needs to I'm happen. I'm with you. I so. blame him for a lot of things, too. So. Okay, yeah. we don't need to get into I'm this. Just right saying, I'm just saying, I'm sorry. Let's yeah. We've all got some AI to beat up on for a little while now. <laughs> yep. Hashtag blame NL. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> okay, so we ready to get going, maybe? I am ready, yes. Uh, what do you think? Speed 2? Speed 3? Yeah, we can, I think Speed 2, because there's going to be some stuff to handle off the bat here. Particularly, like, I've got to do some diplomat... Management. Okay. What do you guys have as your, your opening move plans? Um, basically, for me, it's just... just what, ha what happened to my, ar my army? Oh, there it is. I am going to prevent the, the people from revolting. I'm an Aztec pro province from... Uh, for some reason, it was still Aztec. Mm. So i got to solve that problem. I'm, uh, I'm currently building a, a small army just to defend myself. Um, I'm looking at who's going to accept vassalization right now. Yeah. But apparently, to have vassalization, you have to have five things true. Yeah, royal marriage, like, plus 190 opinion. Um, military uh, alliance. Yep. Have the same religion, and the target oh. country must be at peace. Hopefully the religion thing is not a problem. I haven't yeah, looked it doesn't at the look like it'll be. Uh, I think I could do military alliance and royal marriage with this guy, no problem. So. And it, would, that actually gives you a huge help when it comes to actually uh, getting to plus 90 opinion as well. How do I do military alliance? Is it under access actions? What is it under? Influence or relations, I think. Relations. Uh, you just gotta offer alliance. So it's, it's toward the top. Recently they offer moved... Alliance. The, uh, uh, dis they dislike us, so I can't. Okay, gotcha. Uh, it's also, recently they moved uh, offer vassalization from dynastic to relations, I think. In and influence actions. Oh, influence. in influence. Okay, for like probably two hours, I thought that they had just removed vassalization from the game. And <laughs> I was like, like yeah, alright, well... That's going to make things real tough on me. You entered so. a military alliance with Albion? Scandinavia did. Yes. The papal How do you see that? Why it's do you... popping up over here. I don't why know are why. you getting pop-ups for that? I don't like that. I think it's worth mentioning as well that we're playing on version 1.5 of the game, which is very different from uh, anything we played before. When we played the the Aztecs, or not the Aztecs, sorry, like the Pawnee... Um, uh, what, what were we? Micmac, Abenaki, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Once. I have forgotten mine, or was I Micmac? Mathis was Micmac. You were Abenaki. Yeah. Yep. You were not important. Yeah, and, apparently uh, I didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but anyway, that was version one point four. So now you can uh, you can actually like break 
protectorates and break vassalization and personal unions as a peace. It's part of mm -hmm. a peace offer. Okay, cool. So that's pretty cool. You know who I was? Mahican. No. I remember. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it reminded me of Michigan. That's right. Uh, whoa, that's surprising. The War of the Roses event actually fired. That's good cool. thing. Good thing England actually existed in this timeline. Right. <laughs> this might be a great time for me to actually go and uh, reconquer it. I get a claim on something. I just get a claim on Elentejo. Badajoz games a claim on Elentejo. Did no, that's you. That's, that's uh, yeah. It's Badajoz. That's that what do they have? One county? Do you really like? Go ahead, declare war. What are you gonna do, Mattis? You have some uh, interesting war plans going on in Iberia. Not really. Uh, it's just slow takeover of everything that was once mine, essentially. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna have to do. But I don't have a lot of power. I'm not making a lot of money right now. Mm. Uh, I'm making barely. I'm making point nine six gold right now. That's it. That's not great. No. My plan is to vassalize Scotland because they will accept it eventually. Uh, yep. Uh, well, wait, I should offer an alliance first. Vassalize Scotland, <laughs> and then, uh, and po possibly even concurrently go to war with England, who appear to be, uh, they have like a 17 stack of rebels right now, which is good news for me, I think. Yeah, I can't Apparently, afford. my character is female. <laughs> really? That's, yeah. So you're that like makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, in Brittany, my last character was at, uh, with the last member of my dynasty. Yeah, it's a but, really... Um, <laughs> Faithful conversion, I, can, I guess. I can't make her into a uh, military commander. That's the mm -hmm. first thing I noticed. Do it's you like normally do that? I'm always so worried about, especially with our succession uh, being disputed here, like being killed in battle. Uh, for me, usually I'll do it, and then depending on their stats, I'll either risk it if they have terrible mm -hmm. uh, monarch points, or I will hold them back for like sieges and things. I love when I can get a ruler who has siege score. Mm. Is he Basically, it's just like a free siege booster. I was playing as uh, Burgundy last night, and their king just starts, like, by default being a, a leader of the army or a possible leader of the army. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. He's like 3-3-3. And then, of course, I was like, okay, the Burgundian inheritance is like the first major event in every single game. So maybe I shouldn't do that. But I did anyway, and I lost. <laughs> just kind of my, the story of my life in a nutshell. I'm wondering who's first with score right now, because I'm, I'm I'm only fucking, third. I'm forty second. You're so. third. I'm twenty first. I think it's the the Timurids are probably first. Could it's be hard to tell though. Excellent. Oh, yeah, so I guess I just, Scandinavia could be there. I've got so much revolt risk. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is not good. Oh, My overextension is only forty four percent, and I'm coring the two places that need to be cored. So, be good there. Ugh. 70 military power to prevent them from doing that. I am starting to uh, sell some of my overseas holdings as much as it pains me to do so. <laughs> but you're everywhere, so it's, it's true. Messy. Uh, I would, yeah, it's to the point where I would rather just not have the land. <laughs> I would rather give it to somebody else. Covert actions, <clears throat> let's see. Aruba, did they make a change recently where... Uh, when your diplomat returns, it no longer gives you a pop-up? Yes, they made a change to that. Now, when he gets to 100 opinion, you get a pop-up saying, do you want to maintain the relationship, or do you want to bring mm. the diplomat home? I, I guess I understand the functionality of that, but I also kind of hate it, because I'm so used to just clicking the button on the right that says OK. So I always click maintain diplomat. Mm. But I guess it's just habit. There's all kinds of fighting going on like in the north of my country here. Well, Aruma just declared war on the Tozerids. Oh, yep, I just got that as well. Colonialism. Yep. Apparently, the province of Tripoli is considered a colony. Not sure mm. why. I don't really even know why I'm attacking him. I just feel like he's weak and I should attack him because that's what I was doing at the end of CK2. Are you taking the African uh, holdings then? Yeah, he has no allies and um, he's just got two provinces with like six regiments. So we might as well mm. just take them both. Do what you got to do. I think I'm going to go to war with England soon. It's so weird, though, because I'm used to, like, just mousing over their allies and being like, okay, Brandenburg, Sicily, and Holland, and being like, I, I know the relative strengths of them compared to me, but now I've got to go to the map and be like, okay, does Brandenburg own, like, all of Europe? No, that's good. What about <laughs> Sicily? Sicily is, like, Naples at the normal EU4 start. There's um, a Holland so and a Flanders. It's weird. 
Something we should um, also mention is that we, since we exported and we had the Sunset Invasion mod on, notice how oh, yeah. all... Well, it's hard to see here because the New World's not revealed, but the Aztecs and all of the natives are going to have high American tech group. I don't know why, but I can West. see Mexico. Probably because really? you, uh, maybe you're friends with... Maybe. I can see friends, Mexico, though. It's random. And I just got war declared on me. This should be interesting. Leon yeah. has declared war. Good luck. Ah, you should be fine, right? Um, I'm assuming I'll be all right. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I don't know why I'm attacking Africa. I should probably be getting my cores back in Brittany. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? They are, mm. they are ruthless. Holy shit. Okay, relax. Notice I have 24 regiments of rebels already in the land that you gave me. Oh, man. I'm sorry! <laughs> I asked you if you wanted it, and you said yes. Yes, that was foolish of me. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. You were right. We should have sorted it out before, uh, before E4. It'll make for an interesting start. It's exactly. fine. Exactly. I'm actually. I mean, yeah, you you have the skills when it comes to E4 anyway, so I, I have faith in you. Yeah. In the worst case scenario, the Aztec Patriots take take possession of it, and then we just do local autonomy there for like five decades and <laughs> make no money from it. But it's still better than not having it. <clears throat> they are sieging the shit out of me. Hmm. 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 Who the, who is fighting with them right now? Granada? For, for once, I actually can't help you. So. No, no, no. I'm just trying to figure out. <laughs> what, I'm going to siege them, see how that goes. Mm. Scandinavia, you better love me for giving you these sweet provinces that make your borders so nice. I am losing how much money a month? 0.71 a month. Hmm. It's not bad. Yeah. Now it becomes, uh, how well does Northern Lion know Scandinavian geography? Right. Is Skana a part of Sweden or a part of Denmark in the real world? It has Danish culture, and then the province next to it has Swedish culture, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just get rid of Denmark. It's always an option. Fine. I mean, it would be nice to have an EU4 game where Denmark just doesn't exist <laughs> for the first time ever. Mm. Okay, I won that fight. Where are my ships? There they are. Uh, they're the first fleet. Hey, they're Arumba, is there. there any yeah. way to get a, a claim on, like, an island if you don't have provinces that... Like, how do you get a claim on an island, basically? Can you fabricate one, or...? You have to be bordering that province with at least one sea zone. So if okay. you're talking about... You're talking about, like, Iceland, probably? Yes, yes, I am. Uh, you would have to take over... Faroarna, the Good, thing in okay. the Shetland Straits. That would give you, you would share, I, I believe you'd be close enough. Otherwise, if that doesn't work, you just have to take the minus two stability hit if you want to expand up that way. Oh, oh well. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. I think. No. No problem. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that everyone knows we're on, uh, you know, civil terms. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> of course. I'm not I'm not giving you bad information for what. <laughs> <laughs> so wh wh how how strong is your first general? Did you guys make a general yet? Yeah, He's I have him leading my army right now actually. He's a 421. That's pretty damn good. Although that is fire not... Go ahead. Oh yeah, sorry. That, I, my guy is 110. 1100 <laughs> zero, zero, I guess. So That's that sounds more like it. My guy is yeah. 221. Two, mhm. Mm I really, uh, the maneuver value on generals doesn't really mean that much to me. It doesn't seem to, to really speed them up that much. So what is it, what's the order? It's fire, shock, maneuver, siege. Okay. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I've, I've mostly just looked at it and been like, oh, if there's like a yellow star, then that's where I want to be forever. I think he's the reason I'm winning this war right now, to be honest with you. Yeah, five fire, or four fires is quite good. The only disadvantage you have is that fire being... The one that he's better at isn't nearly as good as shock right now. Mm. You'll notice if you go um, press F1 and then zero, you'll go to your military tab. And right now, in the year 1447, shock um, is just way better than fire. Oh, yeah. See how there's a zero next to that cavalry fire? Yes. I don't know if you're actually looking at I, it. I actually can see it now, yeah. That means that the cavalry do no fire damage at all. Okay. In the fire phase. They only do shock damage. And the... Uh, infantry only do 25% damage during fire. So mm. having four shock, four fire pips is not really that important when you do most of your damage in the shock phase. 
Mm. Quick question. What does it mean when they say Beria is now considered part of our patrimony? Oh, oh wait, you I cord it. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Derp. You already cord something? That was quick. Yep. One of them. Mine, mine's going to take until... I guess it's only a year away. That's not bad. Yeah, like in a weird way, by trying to be nice, I think I actually screwed you guys a little bit because by having to use your admin points, you're going to be a little bit behind on tech and ideas. All right, so I'm going to go get that and <laughs> <laughs> just make sure my empire doesn't die. Yeah. So hold on. Do you guys see the Tozerids anywhere else? Uh, the Tozerids? Oh, there they oh, are. Oh, they're over in Spain with me. I see. That's where their army is. I mean, what are, I've been just sieging everything that they've got in Africa, and they have, like, nothing. Weird. Apparently they're about to take over my province of Barcelona. That's not good. I'm gonna win this fight. I better win this fucking fight. Yeah, I do. Hello. Hi, welcome back. I've returned. Hey there. I, the package hasn't arrived yet, but I figured I'd provide some... <clears throat> Interim commentary, anyway. Wait, anything exciting? Wait, not anything I don't exciting? know, man. Because it just said I've got a package for you in a deep, husky voice. Nice. Well, at least if something bad happens, we're recording it for evidence. Right, true. Is, is it that kind of package, or...? Like I don't know. That's what FedEx? I'm worried about, because I didn't order that kind of package. We'll <laughs> Maybe see. it's from Amazon? Was it one of those Amazon delivery drones? Uh, I wish. I, I live in an apartment, though, so I don't think they could fly it. One sec. It's... Man, these guys are non-stop. Luckily, they're just throwing their men at me. I can now force feasts uh, of... I can demand tribute or offer tribute. Tyrol is the papal controller. I have returned! Tyrol is the papal controller. I don't even know who that is. How exciting for them. No. Fighting a 3-3 general. Damn it. Hmm. Who are you in, with the Tozerits? Yeah. I'm gonna... This is... Ah, <laughs> this is not an easy war. It's supposed to be easy. <laughs> hmm. Who's England allied with? Brandenburg, Sicily, and Holland. I am gonna go ahead and guess that they're probably not gonna be that interested in joining their war across the world. <laughs> it's so weird, though, because the balance of power is so different. Hmm. Well, I have a lot of man. Let's see if I can All right. My, my plan is to build up some forces, and then we're going to go to war with uh, England to reclaim Yorkshire. I am, oh. Uh, oh. How am yeah. I going to do this? <clears throat> I, I'm allied with Scandinavia. Scotland, and they still will not join my war against England. What is your problem? This is like the ideal war for you to join. It's People a beautiful like it, man. thing. I, yeah, they're like, oh, we don't want to take out England. Look at them. They're so weak, they're just right for the taking right now. Are they weak, though? Are they actually weak? They're actually kind of stronger than I expected, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I was a little wrong. Yeah, Sorry. thank you for bringing me back to reality. What are you guys going to get as your, your first ideas, do you think? Oh, jeez, that's a long ways away. Um, <laughs> Colonialism? I don't know. Probably, for me, a diplomatic idea. Maybe naval... I just love naval supremacy. This mm. is, like, the big thing for me right now. I think so, I'm going to get expansion. I was hoping to vassalize the... the uh, whatever the people I'm at war with, the Tozerids, but they can't be. They have to be protectorated. P protector mm. rated. What, what's the value of protectorates? Because when I, I did like a game where I colonized Africa, and instead of vassalization, you have to protectorate them, and I never did it because it seemed really not great. It uh, get, you get half their trade power, and no one else can ally them. You're so, like the only only relationship they can have. I guess that's good, but I could also just take their provinces for myself eventually. Yeah, one by one, very slowly. Hmm. I don't know. It, it, this is before I even understood how trade even works, so uh, I still kind of don't. So it, here's a trade-related question. If I I'm in England, so my home trade node should be London. Or so, oh no, wait. Sorry, I'm I need to find my capital. Never mind, Arumba. I'll get back to you. 
<laughs> oh god, I cannot. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm going crazy. Stop popping up with these damn alliances, idiots. I swear, yeah, I swear. <laughs> wow, that was 20 minutes already. Yeah, um, we had a lot of lot of stuff to handle. Just just quickly before you do the outro, is there an easy way to find your capital that is not just looking for like the yeah thing on home, the okay. home key? Home key, got it. Uh, my capital is well, no Western Isles. Well, I will move that. I'm I'm good to go. Hmm. My commander's just not good enough to to win this fight with this guy. What's your win right, score? Well, oh, I'm I'm winning the war, but I keep losing armies because I am trying to ferry troops across because Jilland, the jerks won't give me access. <laughs> Just bastards. Okay, right, well, yeah. All right. I'm ready. Okay, well, we'll take a break here. We will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, as always. Uh, make sure to watch it from somebody else's perspective next time, and also consider liking the video if you did like the video. So we will see you again soon. Later. Bye -bye.